I wanted to be a guy who a YouTube star who imitates batting stances. Exactly. Yeah, I wanted to be a sideshow basically. Aiming high, my man. I had Sammy Sosa's batting stance <laughs> there you go. down like to a T. Do you love bunny hop and everything? Yeah, A Rod was my favorite player. I mean, I had his down to a T. The you know the the extend with the arm. I really like Carl Everett. Like oh, it, Carl, it, I could do a mean yeah. Carl oh, yeah. Everett. Same with Barry Bonds. Barry sure. Bonds was a little more. Uh, tamed back to the Carl Everett. Carl Everett was kind of the madman. Oh, mad he was man. all over it, yep. Same with Gary Sheffield. Sheffield, too, yep. Yeah, but I mean, that was probably my weirdest dream job was that I wanted to be the swing guy on YouTube. My weirdest dream, which continues to occur, and it pisses me off because it's considered a nightmare, but it's not really a nightmare, you know? Like, as I explain it, you'll understand why, but it's weird because suddenly I'm just trapped in this area where I'm in the military... Okay, and I'm surrounded by all these generals, and we walk together in a formation into a tent. Okay, as I get into this tent, and it's recurring, guys. Like, this is, I've had this dream like 15 times. I'm not trying to bullshit. Like, it pisses me off, too, because it sucks. And I look at this giant screen. I'm talking like 150 by 150 foot screen, so it's massive. It's very intimidating. And you're in your dream. It's like nothing makes sense. And we're in the middle of a war, okay? And there's a giant X that comes across the stream, and it's like the sounds that it makes. Oh my God, it's haunting. It's like, <laughs> er, er, er. and I'm sitting there like, dude, like I need to wake up. And and by at this point, you know, I know I'm dreaming, so I have to like make myself wake up. But my God, that was messed up. All right, first up. Well, if- but my dream job, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> as probably a uh, let's see, I'd probably be at Wrigley in the press box, like just be a beat writer or something. I think that I cool. said I said weirdest dream job, and you go on that weird dream thing. I want to now go in and like de- deciphering. First off, is that your alarm clock going? Bang! Bam, no, no, bam. it's not. And that's the thing that messes with me the most because I wake up and I'm just, it's like 3 a.m. and I'm sweating. <laughs> were you, were well, you previously... So let me tell you, man, being in the military is some tough business. Well, they, were you obviously. ever in the military? No, no. But at the same time, like I, re- I have such a great respect for those who serve. And I'm honestly like two things I'm most afraid of. One, going to war. Two, going to jail. I, I think I agree with you there. I, and dying. See, the one thing. So three. Well, I mean. I'm not afraid of death, but it's one of those things, you know? See, before we go and ask Bren what his weirdest dream job is, not weirdest dream, uh, is I, I had the I kind of had the weird dream thing, but it's gone now. I used to be, it was kind of like a, a cartoon version of like uh, Tom and Jerry, but like kind of creepier. Like a black and white cat was used to chase me and I was the rat like in this oh like my. haunted mansion oh, thing. No. I had no idea what it was. It was like something out of Scooby-Doo. I used to have it all the time when I was seven. Don't know why, don't know how, uh, but I agree with you on the war thing. The best day of my life, I, I will say this, and I, I'm going to preface it with, you know, I respect everyone in the military. I just don't have the guts to do that. Sure. The best day of my life was when I found out that I had epilepsy, and that's a, a thing to get out of a draft. So if there was ever a draft, I'm fine. Well, I'm clear. I thought as an only child you weren't eligible. Is that I don't. It? I don't think that's true. I don't think that. I don't think that. I've never oh, okay. heard that. I think oh, it's. I think I'm it's, probably making stuff up. I think it's if you have. I think that's what my multi- dad told me to make me feel better. Probably. I think it's if you have I multiple. Think so. I think you can't have <laughs> multiple so. brothers or multiple like siblings in at the same time oh. or something like that. I don't. Oh uh, well, who knows? Yeah, I don't know. But what, what's your weirdest dream job, Brandon? Um. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give two things. I'm gonna I'm gonna go off of um, Rankin's. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I have plenty dream. to talk about. I have so, plenty. So I've got a, I've to got share. a, ter- I've got a terrible, terrible nightmare that I'll, I'll share with you that I had when I was younger, um, and then I'll give what we were supposed to from the beginning. But uh, so the, we- now, I wouldn't say it's the weirdest dream, but it's definitely one of the scariest I had, especially when you're younger and the, yeah, pretty much anything all scary, especially in your basement in the dark. So, dude, I got stories about that. But go on. Here's here's so the dream starts out. You know, I'm walking downstairs in my house. My house is completely dark, completely dark. Walking down the basement stairs, I come around the corner, and then out from my bathroom in my basement pops out this hand. It's got a glove, black glove on it, and in the hand is a lollipop. And the person goes, want to try a lollipop? Oh, my God. What the fuck, Brandon? Yep, mm-hmm. And I then booked it right back up the stairs. And let me tell you, I went to my parents' bedroom thinking that I was, I'm thinking I'm awake now. Yeah. I wasn't awake. Right. Yep. So then I had to run right over back into my bedroom. And then I had to start to pinch myself. Like, so woke you woke up pinching myself yeah. to get out of the dream. Now, see, now I absolutely 100%. No, let me ask you a question. When, you're, when you feel like you're being chased in a dream, do you feel like you're in slow motion? 
Like when you're trying to run away? Yeah, because they catch up to me really quick and I'm not slow. Like literally I, when I'm trying to run away from someone, I can't move. I'm just in slow. Yeah, it's horrible. Mine's more I'm on a, uh, what's it called? Uh, I don't know this thing because I don't use it. Treadmill. 